is the number 12, Gary Ward. He most certainly will be in the starting lineup this afternoon. We'll try to identify their players now. Their goalkeeper will be Mirko Runya. He was in doubt. He had an injury during the week, but he's passed the fitness test. He will start in goal. And it does look as if Steve Gojevic, the centre of attention here, will be in the starting lineup, which will mean that the number seven, Ante Lubic, will go to the substitutes bench. That's Gary Ward, scorer of seven goals in the Buffalo Knight series here in Melbourne. The leading goal scorer. As I was saying, the referee this afternoon is Stuart Mellins. He's been assisted on the line by Chris Bambridge. Chris Bambridge, of course, will be Australia's representative in Mexico. That's one of the referees. One of the qualifications for, play, for refereeing in a World Cup series is that Chris Bambridge has to run the line five times before he reaches Mexico. So this will be the first time that Chris Bambridge has run the line for many a long day. Well, joining me this afternoon to have a look at this match, and we'll be hearing from him throughout the game, is the Brunswick Juventus coach, Len McKendry. Welcome, Len. Thanks, Mike. And your chance this afternoon, I suppose, to see Sydney Croatia for the first time. Yes, I've been looking forward to it. I haven't seen them live since uh, their introduction to the National League, uh, just a bits and pieces on television, so uh, this will be a very interesting game for me, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. And Zarko Zhakov there, one of the players who does this Melbourne ground so well after playing down here with Preston in the National Soccer League. Certainly a friendly atmosphere between the players of both sides and Steve Gojevic, the number nine, plays. That's another player to look out for, a new sign-in this season for Melbourne, Croatia, the number 11, Davor Dodaric. Karunja was in doubt but takes his place in the starting lineup as Melbourne Croatia. The red shirts, the white shorts get us underway. They're kicking from left to right in the first half. So the first touch of the match ball. For the former youth international keeper, Erdi Ankovic. Forward looking for Gary Ward. This is Graham Jennings. Jennings will have fond memories of his last appearance on this ground. For the Socceroos against Scotland. Now Gojevic. Now back for Sydney, Croatia. Shane Clinch. So another throw for Melbourne, Croatia. Jankovic. Gojevic. Good strong challenge there from Zarko or Zhakov. Run forward, trying to spread it wide. Now Wally Savor. Zemil Dragijevic. Uh, who City Croatia brought out last season. Started off, in fact, with Inter Monaro. That ball pushed too far forward. And a goal kick for Melbourne, Croatia. So, Loko Runya, just 19. One of the youngest players on the park this afternoon. So now Drago Diankovic. This is Gary Ward, just a touch forward. Daric. Safely taken there by Steve uh, Watson. Devo Daric, scorer of one goal so far in the Buffalo night competition. So George Hanna. Now Joseph Biskic. Rebounds. This is Graham Arnold. Now Zelko Urien. In such fine form on the right flank for Sydney Croatia. That time dispossessed by Jimmy Campbell. Now Rezo. Tripped as he went past the player. So a free kick for Sydney, Croatia. And Zarko Ozhakov is the player to take it. Free kick specialist for Sydney, Croatia. Yeah, that one hard. Takes a deflection and in. Zarko Ozhakov. Two minutes gone. 
and Sydney Croatia take the lead Zarko is jack off the scorer but he hit that one with so much force from here it seemed to take a deflection the goalkeeper didn't move let's see if we can pick it up on the replay it, did, it came off the head of a defender away from the keeper and the keeper was stranded three minutes gone Melbourne Croatia nil Sydney Croatia won Zarko or Zhakov the goal scorer so what a start that ball took a deflection the goalkeeper hadn't moved Kovacic there reading the play well coming across from his central position now Biskic Jankovic, upended by Wally Shavor. So a free kick now to Melbourne, Croatia. Shavor sharing a joke with the referee, Stuart Mellings. So Joseph Biskic, Putting this way in, Watson comes, takes it, drops it, and just wide. In fact, Gary Ward, they're appealing that it took a deflection as is Jimmy Campbell who put the shot in the goal kick has been given the Steve Watson there came and dropped it and from that point on Sydney Croatia were in trouble shot came in there from Jimmy Campbell certainly seemed to take a deflection the referee gave a goal kick Steve Watson a let off there Kozelko Urien away from the defender trying to play it back into the path of Graham Arnold that was a timely interception Some Croatia as we saw in the New South Wales Ampole Cup series defend well are always so dangerous on the break and now they're on Croatia they've got players forward and they've equalised Bonasic, the player who got the final touch, his third goal since joining the club, and it could be one that could prove to be so important. Bonasic, the scorer, the goal coming after 14 minutes, and Melbourne Croatia are back on level terms. A good quick break, Melbourne Croatia got players forward quickly. It was the number 10, Bonasic, who got the final touch, slides it past the keeper, and 14 minutes gone in this first half, Melbourne Croatia won, Sydney Croatia won. So that certainly would have cheered up the Melbourne Croatia supporters in this crowd. It really has set this game up. It's nice to get goals early in a cup final of any type. So I'll throw in to Melbourne, Croatia. Djankovic. Now Biskic. Challenge there with Graham Jennings. Now Jimmy Campbell just hooking that one forward. Well read by Vedran Rosic. So I'll throw this time to Sydney, Croatia. Taken there by Graham Jennings. Zarko Zhakov, Jennings, playing that one forward. McIntosh and Graham Arnold there having quite a tussle. It's the big defender who comes away with the ball. And now Tony Corcio. Away from Wally Savor. Bonasic, the goal scorer. Corcio. And Graham Jennings plays it into touch for a throw in. Let's cross now to Laurie Schwab on the sideline. I'm with Billy Wojtek, the former Socceroo who played for both Melbourne, Croatia and Sydney, Croatia. A great equalising goal, Billy. Yes, uh, that's what I've been expecting Croatia to do. They've been in devastating form throughout the, uh, the night competition. And today they, again, put four or five passes together and uh, they're playing really, really well. I expect them to win and um, there's no problem about that. Thanks, Billy. Okay. Well, Croatia there so close to going 2-1 ahead. Again, they beat the Sydney, Croatia defence. On that flank, it was a good cross in. So 17 minutes gone. 
Melbourne, Croatia one. Sydney, Croatia one. So George Hanna. Biscuit. Biscuit again. And Gary Ward. Ward's on side. And into the side netting. So close. And Gary Ward saw the half chance and went through. And he shot there into the side netting. And a let off again for Sydney Croatia. Rezo, Molly Savor, Rezo, is possessed by Goyevic, certainly Melbourne, Croatia have picked up their pace, ball out of play on that far side, so a throw for Melbourne, Croatia, now Campbell, Djankovic, away from Zarko or Djakov, Djankovic, cut out there by Bedram Rosic, Djankovic again, now Jimmy Campbell, Ward, just hoisting that one in the air, awkward one for the keeper who comes, Ward, and he puts it over the top, there was the opportunity again for Gary Ward, and surely from that angle he should have done better, but again Steve Watson, was in trouble, the ball fell loose and it was Gary Ward who got the final shot in and he scoops it over the bar from about six yards out. Now Zarko or Zhakov. Zelko Urin, stopped there by Djankovic. Throw again to Sydney, Croatia. Certainly conditions here at Olympic Park in Melbourne this afternoon, absolutely ideal for soccer. Biscuit. Stopped there by Graham Jennings. Still Jennings getting that one across. And you're again dropping that one and collecting it the second attempt. Certainly the young goalkeeper seeming to be affected by nerves this afternoon. Mind you, it would be nerve wracking conceding the goal after just two minutes. But his handling really hasn't looked too short. So certainly a good sized crowd here at Olympic Park. As Bonasic turns it all the way back. Corcio, the sweeper, always making himself available, always finding space. Now Bonasic. Goyevic. Appended there by that challenge from Kovacic. So a free kick to Melbourne, Croatia. To Daric. Looking that one forward. Biscuit. second goal of the season and Melbourne Croatia there exposing a problem at the Sydney Croatia back line and Joseph Biskic there just looks that one over the keeper and 32 minutes gone Melbourne Croatia 2 Sydney Croatia 1 so certainly Big crowd here now, they've really got something to cheer about. But after conceding the goal after just two minutes. Norman Croatia have fought back. So now Corcio. Campbell. Ward having quite a tussle there with Kovacic. George Hanna. Russia. 
four. Scorchio again. Campbell. And now Diankovic. Long one forward looking for Gary Ward. Away there by Vedran Rosic. Let's join now Laurie Schwab on the side. Now Kovacic. Rizzo. Doric. Doric having quite a battle there with Wally Shavor. So a free kick this time for Melbourne, Croatia. Wally Savor now dropping back into a more of a defensive position. Now Ward. Still Gary Ward. Stopped there by the challenge from Redron Rosic. Or Jakov. Shavor. Zelko Yurin. Best the balls in from Zelko Yurin. certainly isn't the Sydney Croatia that we've come to expect during the Ampol Cup series this season. Really found it hard to sp spring more than a couple of passes together. It's very much unlike them. Four marks though for Melbourne Croatia at this stage. Again, first of the ball, Dave McIntosh. Now Biskic. He's got a lot of space on that far side. Still Joseph Biskic. Trying to turn that one in. Way this time by clinch. 15 minutes gone in the second half. Melbourne, Croatia 2, Sydney, Croatia 1. Jennings. Patrick Ijevic. Arnold. Taking the shot, they took a ricochet and away for a corner. Certainly Graham Arnold this season missing his striking partner from last year, Jimmy Batikas. Roman battling alone up front. So concerned there on the face of the Melbourne Croatia coach. But he must be delighted that his team are leading by two goals to one. Now they've got this corner clear. Now Bonasic. Bonasic and Zarko and Jakov clashing. Free kick goes to Sydney, Croatia. Here's the challenge. There's tangling, this flying, nothing connected, thank goodness. Still they argue. Sydney, Croatia get the free kick. Now Rosic. Arnold. Now Shane Clinch. Ushakov. Gijevic or Jakob hit that one with some power but not with the direction that he wanted Zarko or Jakob score of the first goal of the afternoon after just two minutes this one was teed up for him nicely he hit that one hard always rising and always wide still Biskic spreading it wide Lubic is George Hanna. Biskic, who really is running things in midfield now for Melbourne, Croatia. And nobody pick, is picking him up from Sydney, Croatia. George Hanna, who's made a run forward. Manages to get this one across behind the byline and away, in fact, for a goal kick. Well, George Hanna's only ever scored one goal in the NSL. That was in Sydney, in fact, against Sydney Olympic back in 1984. Gets this one across, and it's a testing one for the keeper. Just behind the byline and away for a goal kick. So halfway through this second half, Melbourne Croatia 2, Sydney Croatia 1. And then McKendry, do you think there's any way back for Sydney Croatia? Well, they looked a lot better uh, earlier on, Mike, when they were throwing men forward, but obviously they're not used to playing to men in, in uh, tight situations. They look very wary of it, of playing to men uh, that are marked. But of course you have to if you're throwing men forward because obviously you're pushing the opposition back. But now they've dropped back again and have allowed Melbourne Croatia to come back into it. Now they're back into their old habits again. See, there's the offside. You know, it's still one-on-one, -on -one, though. Now Rosic. Square ball for Graham Jennings. Now Coletta, the youngster. 
He's already scored one goal this season in the Ampole Cup series in New South Wales. Now Jennings. Coletta. He was obstructed there by Djankovic. So a free kick for Sydney, Croatia. So Graham Jennings taking it short to his soccer teammate, Zarko Ozhakov. Now Arnold. It's Lubic. Gary Ward just touching it wide. Nobody running through, in fact, for Melbourne, Croatia. Gary Ward appealing for the throw-in. Which goes the other way. Ozhakov. Now Graham Arnold. Kovacic just lost in that one forward. And now Joseph Biscuits can break for Melbourne, Croatia. And Sydney, Croatia here could be extended. Still Joseph Biscuits. Lubic. Still Lubic. who came on as a substitute just five minutes ago, is the player now that puts Melbourne, Croatia 3-1 ahead. 25 minutes into the second half, and Lubic here goes past Graham Jennings, slots it past Steve Watson. 25 minutes into the second half, Melbourne, Croatia 3, Sydney, Croatia 1. Ante Lubic, the substitute, the scorer.